we've got five movements that we're going to show right now in a test. Basically, this is what we would do to uh, test anybody to see where their strength endurance levels are, where their foundation of strength is before we move on to any other movements. Um, there's five that we're going to be testing. I'm going to try to walk through them all real quick, and we'll have individual videos for each one of these if you want more detail. Uh, so we're just going to try to give a quick overview. Uh, equipment that you need, it's pretty low tech. Um, you don't need a tennis ball. You need a stopwatch, uh, also something to hang from, which we'll get to in a second. Push-up handles could also help, and a mat would be fine. So pretty, pretty low, low cost. You can do this anywhere at your house, gym, uh, any sort of setting. <clears throat> what we're going to be doing is five different movements. I'm going to take you through them right now. First one's a straight leg raise hold. Next one's a lunge hold. Next one's a bottom of a push-up hold. Next one's the bottom of a scapular pull-up hold, and then the last one's cross crawl Superman. Uh, also, this is Brandon Frankel. I didn't introduce him. And I'm Alex Lee. We're in his okay. we're in his dad's garage right now, so that's why. Anyway, <clears throat> we have no mind. Um, <laughs> so the first one that we're gonna be doing in this test here, try to get barefoot if we can. This is the straight leg raise hold. Uh, from the front, his hip shouldn't be translating either side. He's just gonna lift one leg up as high as he can here. This is a hold for five minutes straight. So we're gonna go five minutes on one leg. Five minutes on the other leg, okay? Anything that would count as a fail would be the foot dropping or the hips translating to a side, uh, falling forward or back. Um, that's the straight leg raise hold. Next one's gonna be the lunge hold. So he's gonna get to the bottom of a lunge position here. Um, as you can see, in line, just like this right here. Uh, back leg is getting closer to straight. Front knee and ankle are close to like perpendicular to the ground, so 90 degrees. You wanna go ahead and show them from the side. Uh, Anything that would be considered a fail in this would be <coughs> back leg coming back or falling forward or swaying too far back or the back knee hitting the ground. Um, this is gonna be a three minute hold on each side. So with the single leg raise, you're going five, five right on the other side, rest three minutes, go to the lunge, three minutes, rest three minutes, go to the other side for three minutes. If you can follow that, I'll type it all in so you get it. Uh, next one's gonna be bottom of a push up hold. This is going to be a two and a half minute hold at the bottom here. Um, basically, what you're going to try to do is get to the bottom of a push up. If you just lay flat on the ground, you could feel where like the most advantageous spot would be for you to actually push up from a, from a push up. Um, you can see with Brandon right here, elbows and wrists are pretty much stacked on top of each other. He could be a little bit more forward if you wanted to, uh, but coming back like this is going to put a lot of just extra tension on the shoulders and put them in a bad position, uh, something that we don't want to be doing. Um, you'll also see from ankles to his shoulders, he's pretty much in a straight line. So his, uh, his, his core is nice and, and tight and engaged. Um, you come up. Good. So that's a two and a half minute hold. Rest three to five minutes. You go to a scapular pull up hold. So this is, you just find a bar, hang from the bottom. There's really no way to cheat this one. You're just holding on. Um, grip doesn't matter too much. Uh, you don't really want the ribs to be flaring, but you just, you want to be breathing normally and you're holding. Uh, this is a 90 second hold, that's kind of like the baseline minimum. Um, if there's anything going on with your shoulders, you could be more, uh, I guess, retracted with them, so a little bit more up, up, there we go. Um, if you're strong enough to get lower, you can there. Uh, again, that's a minute and a half right there, 90 seconds. You come down, and last one we've got, whoop, minefield. Uh, we've got cross crawl supermans. So what these are right here, we're going for, in under five minutes, we're trying to get 250 reps on each side. So what Brand's gonna be doing is uh, opposite arm and limb are gonna be coordinated together to raise up. Um, he's gonna try to stay as straight as he can from ankle to the hip. So he thinks about lifting the back part of his knee and then uh, this part of his arm right here to stay in a straight line. Uh, you can rest your chin or your face on a towel. Again, you're gonna be going for five minutes straight. Reps count as one two so it's not one two it's each side going on their own we're sorry going right left is one rep so we're trying to get under 250 sorry over 250 and under five minutes um, so that's pretty much like a walking pace right there um, again there's uh, this is pretty much everything that would formulate sort of a, a foundation of strength there's movements that you could substitute in if uh, if certain movements for some reason you, you can't do them um, and different things that you could add up progression wise. If you can't get a total of the certain time, so say for a straight leg raise, you couldn't get five minutes, you got, you know, you failed at three, you would pause whatever timer that you have, 
Take three breaths, get back into that position. Say you got up to four minutes, fail again, pause. Uh, take three breaths, get back into it. Say you failed at 4.30, that's where you cut it off. So at the third fail, you cut it off. Uh, make sure you just jot down your time, whatever it is, try to keep track. Um, next time you test, you try to be getting a better time in that uh, before you fail. Um, it's gonna get kind of rough with some of these, so just make sure that you keep breathing, try to keep breathing in and out of the nose. Um, and just trying to stay as relaxed as possible without holding extra tension in other spots of the body. Um, but again, this is the five movements, straight leg raise, lunge, push up, scat pull up, and cross cross open hands. Cool. That actually went pretty good.